Welcome to this installment of tutorials for Sugar CRM from AtCore Systems. Today, we will focus on the installation and use of the excellent Stage Tracker module for Sugar CRM. The Stage Tracker Sugar CRM module was built to provide tracking to see how long a particular field in the selected module remains in a stage until it has changed. Without further ado, let's get started and have a look at the module. First, we need to install the module. To do so, you need to log into your Sugar CRM installation using an account with administrator privileges. Once you have logged in, load the admin page by clicking on the administrator link and then clicking on admin. Now locate the developer tools subpanel and click on module loader. On the next page, locate and click on the choose file button in the module subpanel. In the pop-up window, Locate and click on the Stage Tracker module file. Click Open. Verify that the file listed in the module subpanel is the correct file and click Upload. Simply allow Sugar CRM to run its course for the upload. Once this has been completed, you will see the module listed in the bottom subpanel with an option to install the package and one to delete it. Go ahead and click on Install. The next page will be a software license agreement. Read through this text if you would like. Once done, select Accept and then click Commit. Sugar CRM will now run through the installation process and should only take a few moments. However, do not reload the browser page or close the window until the process has successfully completed. Once complete, you will see a simple log screen with an option to view the full log or return to the module loader screen. We'll go ahead and head back to the Module Loader screen, so go ahead and click on the Module Loader button. Once the page loads, the newly installed module will be listed in the top subpanel with the module's name, an uninstall action, a disable action, type, version, installation date, and description listed as well. Everything looks fine here, so let's go ahead and enter the module's license key to complete the installation. Head over to the Admin page by clicking on Administrator and then Admin in the drop-down menu. Scroll down and locate the License Key link in the Stage Tracker subpanel towards the bottom of the page. Go ahead and click the License Key link. On the next page, enter your Stage Tracker License Key and then click Save. Now let's go ahead and get started and have a deeper look at the Stage Trackers module. Locate the Stage Trackers link in the top navigation menu. Hover over Stage Trackers and then click on Create Stage Trackers. As you can see, we do not have much information to enter here, but do not let that deceive you as Stage Trackers is still very powerful. At a minimum, we just need to enter a name for the tracker. So let's do that. The tracker has already been assigned to the administrator by default, which can be changed if desired. For our purposes now, we're fine leaving this assignment as is. The module option allows us to select which module we would like to use as a base for the tracking. As you can see, nearly every module is present. Let's select leads from the list. After doing so, the field selection over here changed just a bit. The selections available in the dropdown change from the accounts module to those associated with the leads module. Clicking on the field dropdown, we will select status. Now let's enter a short description just for anyone else who may have a question about this tracker. Once you're done, click Save. We now see the freshly created stage tracker. As usual, you can use the edit link here if you need to make changes to, duplicate, delete, find duplicates for, or view the change log for the tracker. I think that we're all set, so let's move on. Now we just need to create a lead and track the changes that we make. Click on Leads, and then on Create Lead. We do not need anything fancy here, so just the first name and last name will do on the Overview tab. Once done, click the More Information tab and change the status to New. Now click Save. Let's head back to the Stage Tracker that we just created. Click on Stage Trackers, and then View Stage Trackers. Now click on the Stage Tracker that we previously created. In the Stage Tracker Log subpanel, we already see that our new lead has been added to the change log. 
The available information includes the lead's name, the tracked field's value, the number of times the lead has held this status, the total length of time the lead has held this status, and the last time this tracker was modified. Now let's make sure that we can see other changes. Head back to this lead in the leads module. Click on leads and then view leads. Now either do a quick search for this lead or select them from the list below. Once the leads page has loaded, click on edit. Now click on the more information tab. Change the status option from new to in process. Once done, click save. Navigate back to the new stage tracker by clicking on stage trackers and then view stage trackers. Now select our tracker from the list. In the stage trackers log, we see that the lead now has two entries, one for new and the other for in process. We also see that the count for each is set to one. Each time this lead changes to a status, the count for that status goes up by one. So if a lead goes from assigned to in process 15 times, then this count would be 15. Each of these entries can be edited if need be. To do so, simply click on the lead's name. On the next page, click the Edit button. Here, we can change the name, the related module, and the related lead. So that's it. You have successfully completed this tutorial on the Stage Tracker Sugar CRM module from AtCore Systems and are well on your way to becoming an expert user. Feel free to come back to these videos anytime that you need a refresher or if you need any further assistance, then contact your Sugar CRM support staff. Thanks.